you know, I think we'll uh, being back out here again, just the, the general vibe right now. I mean, what does it feel like out here with this group and how prepared you guys feel like your things going off, getting off the right track here? Amazing. Um, obviously, we got one of the best defense in the NFL, just competing with those guys and uh, ultimately just building this camaraderie, this group. Uh, you know, just want to just wanna make everybody feel at home, you know, and uh, as we go into the season and the preseason, uh, just want to hit the ground running. OTAs, we left off on a good note. We want to start it off again um, come camp. Mike, you saying that he feels like Brandon is a great fit with you and you guys are just playing with each other really well. What has that been like for you to have a veteran guy like that in here that you know you can count on as well? Absolutely. You know, I always bring up his years. Uh, I mean, I'm only on year four. He year 10. So, uh, you know, just the, the I feel like the best teacher in life is experience. So uh, everything that he's been through, you know, I'm, I'm, I always ask him questions on, like, help me out with this. Like, what were you thinking on this? You know, uh, just picking his brain. And, uh, of course, his physical ability is amazing. Um, very, very speed, very speedy. Uh, very confident guy, you know, and uh, he take care. He take care of himself well. So I learned a lot of things on and off the field from him. Michael Gallup was talking receiver. How does that make you a better receiver? Uh, any, like I said, experience. Um, the things that he saw. Uh, if I have any any questions as far as any route, particular route that I need to be better at, or if he want me in a better position, I ask him where he need me, and I'll do anything in my power to get there. Michael Gallup was talking the other day just about the trip y'all took to to Georgia. Uh, what is the benefit of that, and how did, did you guys have a good time there? Can you just you know describe a little bit like you know what it was and what the experience was, and how beneficial something like that could be? Uh, it was very beneficial for us as an offensive group and as a whole because, uh, I mean, obviously all the skilled guys over there in Atlanta a week before we reported. So uh, just ability to get together, catch some footballs from them, um, be on the same timing. And I feel like as an offense, as a receiver, quarterback, or a tight end quarterback, however you want, timing is the only thing that you got in the NFL. And that's just, that has set the difference between an interception and a touchdown. So uh, just getting that down, getting into camp, ready to roll, and uh, it feels right. What about the off the field? Say that again. Trust each other. Um, trust that everybody's going to do their 111. I get it that it's easy to say that, but just off their experience and the things that they've done, you kind of started putting yourself in their shoes and understanding that it's a life or death situation. And the way that we play this game, I mean, it's for it's for our family. So put yourself in their shoes and be willing to risk it all when you when you hit a work and uh, do it for your brothers. How much you difference does the offense? This Mike McCarthy Schottenheimer offense right now. I know you guys are still going through some of the install, but what feels different about it? Uh, just the camaraderie, the, the confidence that Mike has, you know, within calling this plays, he trusts in his players. Uh, he believes in players versus plays. You know, um, you, you can design all, all the schemes if you want, but at the end of the day, we got to go out there and make it come to life. So, uh, Shadi and, and those guys, they, they want to assemble it down and uh, just let us be us. Um, a lot of players have talked about you guys understand the offense better, what everybody's supposed to do, which is cut down on confusion. Just talk about how important that is that everybody knows what each other's role is supposed to be and how much of them cut down some of those confusion routes and everything. Definitely. You gotta make it you gotta make it simple for the players because once again you play fast then you get the most out of everybody. So um the thing that they've done, obviously they made it simpler but you get more options out the simple plays. So if one player is this, then if you don't like it, you go to this. And it's that, it's that simple. So just knowing your responsibility, knowing your place, and you have the ability to line up wherever you want. So, so was there some confusion in your past? Not necessarily. It was just, I mean, we wasn't really always on the same page. Now it's, it's, it's a bit different. Um, you understand, put yourself in the quarterback shoes. Obviously, we can't play quarterback. Everybody can't play quarterback. But get in the mind of why he's doing things. And I feel like they made it much more easier for us to understand. You and Trayvon are, are key parts of this team's future. Mm -hmm. Seeing him sign the deal he did this week, does it give you confidence that the, we're going to take, we're, we're going to keep this nuclear together, they're going to work it out with me, and we're, we're going to go forward here? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No. <laughs> you thought about your deal? I'm cooling. I'm relaxed, man. I'm just glad I got my man for another five more years, though, so.
many more picks to come. Shout out my man Trey. Do you like having Mike around your group as an offense more often, almost exclusively now than now that he's a play caller? Definitely. I mean, what's better than a, the best relationship with your head coach? You know, and uh, some guys don't have that type of relationship with their coach. Granted, he's not in the meeting room as much, or he's not really as far as play calling, not too in depth with it. But I mean. Now it's, it's definitely different. It kind of reminds me of college. Um, Lincoln Riley, he did the same thing. He was our offensive play caller and the head coach, so brings some familiarity. How did they go about uh, teaching you to learn the offense better? Uh, it's not necessarily different. Um, I would definitely say he's added his own little twist to a couple things, and um, it's very simple. You know, it's easy to catch on. It's not anything complex. Uh, it's once again, like I said, it's it's things that we've ran before, but as far as it made it easier to get to something else, depending on the coverage. You know, and um, I feel like you always got to have a plan A and plan B when you're in this league. Other than the football during the the trip. To to Georgia. Who was the best fisherman? It's tuber, jet ski races. Tuber is crazy. Go? Yeah, I don't I, None of them could really hunt. I wasn't a part of that tubing situation because <laughs> the way they was flipping was insane. But <laughs> <laughs> it was good to watch them, you know, them boys have fun. And uh, once again, the camaraderie was important. The chemistry, the bond, and the morale of the team, it definitely it, it bonded over, you know, to camp. And I know these guys inside and out as far as who they are as a football player and as a man. Did you at least get to drive the boat? No. <laughs> Saturday. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's an old man. He hate to hear it, but he's an old man. I told, I told him, if anybody's 30 years old, you would not be able to guard me, right? And I was talking as far as a defensive player. And Dak was like, easy, I'm going to be 30 soon. I said, well, you better keep warming that shoulder up because soon enough, I'm going to be able to outrun it. <laughs> he said he tries to keep himself young enough to date with everybody. I mean, Definitely. that much older than y'all. Nah, he's old. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he don't act old, but it's just, you know, that that, that big 3-0 in this league is different. Yeah. You know, and uh, obviously you got guys like Aaron Rodgers, who's a great, and you got Tom Brady, who played until he was 45. Plenty of guys don't do that, but I'm sure I, I see Dak doing that. What's his work, too, that now, you know? He's always doing something. Right. How much do you think that is about longevity, play longer, being healthy? Just keeping himself, keeping himself involved, you know, with us, keeping himself in tune. He's a very heavy sweater, bro, and it's insane. It's like he jump in and out of pool pre-work, like pre-practice. So uh, he do a great job of keeping himself warmed up. Um, you know, like I said, I, I pray that I keep him for all 17 games and, you know, maybe 20. So uh, just... Him tuning himself up and keeping his, his body in, in, intact, uh, I don't see I don't see no question in that. What's the next step for you? As far as numbers, you know, what the, what, where the goals come to show. I mean, you, your first three years have been, just number-wise, have been one of the best in the Cowboys history. Uh, man, looking to exceed, definitely. So whatever you've seen, I'm looking to, I would say double it, but I'll be more realistic. I'm looking to be better, you know, uh, catches to yards and touchdowns. So, uh expect a lot. How much do you look at? Where stuff is with your contract? Do you ask your agent for updates? Or you just say, Not necessarily. I really don't. Um, and I let him, I told him he has full range. You know, uh, I just want the best of the best as, as far as, you know, the best for me and make sure everything is right. And when it's right, just come let me know something. Other than that, I'm just going to keep working, keep building this bond with my guys. And when it's time come September, we trying to start it off right. But you, you, you do know what other guys are making at your position. Yeah. <laughs> I, know. How much, how much you, I know now. <laughs> how much do you follow, like, your Madden rating or where people have you ranked amongst the top receivers in the league? And if you do pay attention, where do you think you belong? Find out about the Madden rating. Obviously, when it came out, it got tagged a lot. You know, can't really be on the Internet without seeing it. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I'm not really too pressed about it. Impressed. Nor pressed. But, I mean, it should be better come 2025. Is that any motivation for you? Or are you completely internally motivated? Or do you take these sort of rankings and go? Those things okay, like that doesn't that. really motivate me. If you if, if things like that really motivate you, then you you weren't you aren't motivated enough to play this game. And uh, I believe I know that I didn't put my best foot forward. And I didn't put my best out there yet. So like 
for me to get this high of a ranking, I mean, yeah, that's cool, you know. Um, but once again, keep in mind, I did not have Dak for a whole season. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, why, is it, yeah, why, why is it when, when Dak your number just jump with him? I mean, what, what is it about y'all's relationship or whatever? Or that? Listen, <laughs> I ain't have Dak a whole season. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, as far as me, I'm gonna I'm do the best I can to, to improve as a receiver and uh, to get open, do my job, and um, you know, make sure may, I'm here to help my man's number jump. And. He definitely do the same for me. Where does your motivation? Last one here, guys. Internal. I'm my own motivation. I think uh, the people that I've lost in my family is my motivation, and I think everything as far as my mentality is my motivation. Thank you, CD. Thank Appreciate you. you. Thanks.